Hey guys, so this is my October favorites. I've been using these products for, I would say about three months now, actually. So I feel like I have a pretty good grip on how these products work and I hope you guys like it. Coincidentally, they're mainly lip products, so just to let you know. The first product I have is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this one is in Stockholm. I really love this one because it's one of those it's my lips but better kind of deal except it's a lot more peach toned and it doesn't dull out my face like some nude lipsticks tend to do. Whenever I want to amp up my lip game though, I double it up with, oops not that one, I double it up with NYX Cocoa Lip Liner and this is just a really good combination. It makes my lips look fuller because my lips are really uneven. My left bottom lip and my right bottom lip don't line up, but I just like to fill that part in just a little bit to even out my lips a lot more and this is a really great combination. I've been really enjoying it. This next lipstick is also by NYX and it's in Talia. This one is more of a brown color. It does have a pink undertone to it, which I really do like because some lipsticks are just pure brown. It's kind of my version of I want to look dark today, but I don't want to wear red lipstick because that's too much work. So I just go ahead and apply this on and it immediately gives me more of a mature look, a little bit darker, but it's still fairly subtle. When I use this product, I typically use it with a lip liner and I use NYX Plum. It's a burgundy color and it Oddly works really well with this and I really do think it's because of the slight pink undertones in this and it just really meshes. So this next one is Makeup Forever's Black Lipstick. This one is more of a satin slash glossy finish so it's not going to dry matte. That's the only thing I kind of don't really like about it. It's not that big of a deal because I just go ahead and take some black powder and blot it straight on and it stays on. All night, I went to a concert with this throughout the dancing and throughout the heat and throughout the crowds. It didn't smear off my face, so that was a huge plus. Next, I have this mascara, and it's the Maybelline's Falsy Volume Express in Flared. I've been using the normal one without the flare for a couple of years now. It's been three to four years. I use it religiously. When I went to the store, they didn't have it anymore, so I had to get the flared, and I feel like they changed the formula because I've tried it a couple of years ago and I didn't like it because it ended up clumping my eyelashes to where they kind of look like triangles. But this one just really allows my eyelashes to stay lifted and it doesn't droop after you apply mascara. Because you know how sometimes, even though your eyelashes are like curled like that, and then it just slowly ends up going like this after you apply mascara because it gets so heavy. This one really keeps it up and that's what I really love about it and I've even gotten compliments on my eyelashes, which is rare because mine are stick straight. So these have been, oops, really awesome. And if you have straight eyelashes like I do, then I definitely recommend it. So this next product, no one really talks about it anymore, but I've been really loving. And it's the Batiste Dry Hair Shampoo. It's really convenient and I don't have to do that motion. I just go that and it's done. So I really love this for its volume effect and because I typically sleep with my hair in a bun, when I wake up I have to straighten my hair. And after I straighten my hair it goes very limp. You're really compressing your hair down so it's not as voluminous as it would be if you were just to let it air dry after a shower. That being said, this really gives it that oomph back that I really need. But not least, I recently got a puppy and his name is Ponyo. Ponyo is a Miyazaki movie and I know the character is a girl, but apparently, I'm not sure how true this is, Miyazaki made up the term Ponyo as an onomatopoeia, meaning squishy. So that, that was very um, suitable. And I will show you guys him in a bit. Okay, so I hope this is in focus, but here is my little one. He currently has a collar around him, a harness, so he doesn't end up choking on himself. He just woke up. He is a toy American Eskimo. He's a huge troublemaker. He's actually really calm right now. I say that and he's gonna go crazy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this October favorites and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!
哦。